your girl Brittany here and welcome to Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's having an amazing week. To keep up with us here, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, where I will be posting encouraging posts and interacting with you guys. And this week has been so much fun so far and I love engaging with you guys. So let's keep on going because in order for positivity to get out there, we got to do it together. You can listen to us on YouTube, Podbean, Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. You heard that right. We're on Apple as well. This is so exciting. And if you are listening to us on YouTube, then click that subscribe button and notification bell as well to get notified to see when we have posted. And if you are listening to us on Podbean, Apple, Spotify, or Anchor, you can click that follow button to join the Brit Positive Fam Bam and download this podcast so you can listen to it on the go. All the links are down below on Linktree, so you can check us out there. Now we have our Brit Positive quote of the day, which is, The past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Rafiki from The Lion King. So let's get into our topic of the day. Our topic of the day is our top pick Disney movies. I love Disney movies. They have so many positive and encouraging messages in them that I just had to share a few that I thought were very helpful and hopeful and encouraging for me when I was younger that who knows, maybe you guys could watch it again or watch it for the first time and enjoy it. And the special guest I have today to join me in discussing this topic of our top pick Disney movies is my one and only amazing brother, Andre. Hey, bro. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Thanks for coming on. It's always glad to be here. Okay, so let's get started. So I will go first. My first Disney movie top pick that I find that has a nice positive message in it, and I don't know if you guys will agree, but this is why I think it is. I'll start off with the name, Beauty and the Beast. I find this movie that it teaches to like never judge a book by its cover and I think a lot of people in this time are learning new things and this message I believe still stands today for people to just give that a try and not just look at a person's outer appearance and assume that that's who they are and like they're this horrible person. It's like you got to get to know somebody really to really get an idea of who they are and I saw that with this movie from when I was a young age with Beauty and the Beast where I mean, it started off rocky, I will say, with the beast, like, capturing her father. But then when you think of it, the father did go lurking in the castle. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the whole debate, but the whole breaking thing. Breaking and entering? <laughs> yeah, breaking and entering. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to be like, yeah, throw him in jail? But I think it's really beautiful that throughout the movie, you just see the beast and Belle, like, get to know each other and, like, what he does for her, what she does for him. And they just both see each other for who they are and not based off of looks that's what it taught me at a very young age okay that's really interesting because whenever i think of the beauty and the beast i think of kind of like people can change and you certain have a a bit of redemption Mm because the beast was not a good prince Mm -hmm. back when he was a normal human and the the punishment of being turned into a a beast so his outsides are just like his inside and he's a good person out that he becomes a good person on, on the, the inside, out, inside and, and then now the, outside. the outside. Yeah, You know what? You make such a good point. Literally, like it has a lot of character building in that as well. Just like putting that message out there that a person is capable of change, too. So I don't think we should always hold on to the old of somebody's doing. Like, I mean, you know, the whole saying forgive and forget kind of thing, um, because everybody's capable of changing and. That's what helps make the world a better place. Just the fact that we are willing to grow and change, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I agree with that. Okay, so what's your next top pick for Disney movies, bro? Okay, this is a rel- relatively recent movie. I believe that me and you watched this movie together rather recently, too. What? What is that? It is Onward. Onward? What? You picked Onward? Oh, yeah. You see, I was sitting down and thinking, movies that had a good message. And Onward was one of the first movies that came to mind. Really? I was like, it, it's like, you, 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 it's a, a movie about two brothers going on an adventure to kind of rediscover the, their dad who unfortunately passed away. Mm-hmm. And the younger brother was so young that he doesn't remember the father. Right. And... They went on a journey, a classical journey in like 
The oh, whole, kind like, of a Dungeons and Dragons kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. So it was like they were kind of making fun of like the fantasy elements, but it was kind of modern times too. Yeah, it's like they're no longer into like doing the whole magic and wizards and fairies. I mean, they were there, but like everybody's driving, no one's flying, that kind of thing. Right. Well, one of the things though that kind of hit me was at closer to the end where it's like the younger brother was like, I never got to know my dad, but. You know what? My big brother Wait, was kind of like Wait, spoiler alert. Just spoiler alert. So in case you guys not have not seen it. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> well, I'll just say, like, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, watch that and then come back. <laughs> but yeah, continue. No, the point I'm trying to make is that, like, you kind of, like, long for certain things where, oh, I wish I had that re- uh, uh, relationship with my dad, but he's no longer with me. Mm-hmm. But you kind of take for granted the relationships that you currently have. Oh, yes. That is exactly what I got from that movie, too, because my heart was, like, going with what... Um, I don't even know the character's name. I just know they're all blue. But I know, They were, like, trolls or something? <laughs> I don't or, no, know. Or, 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 I don't know. I don't know. They had ears or something. They were, like, pointy ears, and they were blue. Orcs. and. No, 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 no. No, blue. there's no they're blue. They're blue. But um no, I just remember like the character that Tom Holland plays. It was like he just so wanted that and my heart started like getting so full when I saw towards the end, yes, yeah, spoiler, where like he just started remembering all those moments that he had on his list like learning how to catch, learning how to ride a bike, learning learning just different things. It's like his big brother did that for him that whole time and it's like it really like you said just appreciate the things that you have appreciate the people that's in your life right now and mm-hmm. you know take in that moment be present um that doesn't mean you don't have goals in life for sure have goals but always be present and appreciate the things you have in the day you're given you know mm-hmm. okay my next topic for disney movies is treasure planet okay i don't know why this movie hasn't been like a big blockbuster or whatever because to me like from i was a kid this movie got me feeling emotions like it was so good um what i like about this movie is that it shows that people can change for the better so it kind of shows it kind of links with what my brother's pick was for onward and that loving a person goes a long way because the cyborg in this movie you know although he's like a bad guy with the whole treasure hunting thing he he what he like took this kid you know, um, Jimbo. He calls him Jimbo in the movie. He took his kid under his wing. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. He takes him under his wing and like he's there just trying to keep him busy and tired so he doesn't get involved with this pirate's plan. But like Loki becomes like a son to him. And towards the end, spoiler, I won't say too much because I really encourage you guys to watch this film. It's very beautiful. In in the whole like, if you look at the message that it shows, um, just that he chose that kid over that whole like life obsession of treasure. It, it, think like um, Moby Dick in space. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think it's like Moby Dick, Dre. No, the the, the guy had this lifelong obsession uh, to find treasure planet, planet. Yeah. a planet literally all gold. But guess what? It just shows that things aren't important. It's the people that are. Because, like, he, he, he was just like, it's just treasure. It's just gold. The bonds that he had with the kid, he took priority over his lifelong goal. And there's a scene, and I'm not going to tell you, because, and I'm not going to tell you guys, because I really want you guys to watch this movie. If you are, if you're interested, go on Disney Plus or you know yeah, i'm sure it's on disney plus yeah for sure it is it's on disney plus if not you know you can find it somewhere uh, i don't know if they still sell it but please check out the movie treasure planet there's a scene in the towards the ending where you see what he does for the kid it's so good and there's another I, scene I, I i know what you're talking about. you know what i'm saying I, yeah I, I just remembered right? and i'm like dude look it out yeah yeah <laughs> right and then there's another scene and it's not towards the ending it's like in the middle where he's talking to jimbo and Jimbo is like all like in his feelings and whatever. And it was just so good. <laughs> so that's all I will say. But yes, that movie just showed a lot of heart and just showed that like things don't matter. Like, yes, 
it's important to have a house and things like that like that no those things you need to survive yes but at the end of the day it's about the people and you know that was very powerful just to say that like that's all that matters like this just loving people and caring for them is all that matters i feel i agree <laughs> okay so what's your next top pick bro i'm excited because i don't know anything he's gonna say i know i i we we, we didn't like discuss any of this ahead of time mm-hmm. it, it's it's kind of like a we're surprising each other yeah because i i was thinking like treasure planet which one was that again yeah <laughs> yeah but no like that movie i can just look back and be like that was like a very influential movie for me was it though well, I, I like we 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 got it like a VHS back in like, back when it first came out. So that's like a blast from the past, and I can tell you, I can probably tell you every single part of that movie because Brittany watched it quite a bit. Yes, it was just so nice. It was a nice, happy movie. All right, so my next pick is Wreck It Ralph. No. Yeah, honestly. I like to play video games. I've been playing video games for a while. And wreck it Wolf just put a smile on my face. When you see uh, all of the bad guys working together, I was like, um, wh- wh- why is Zonkeep there? He- he's-, he's not really a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you know Street Fighter, Zonkeep is kind of like, dumb. So, like, he's not bad, bad. For you gamers out there, you probably know what he's talking about because I don't, but okay. <laughs> it's the big pro wrestler guy. It's the big pro wrestler guy okay. in, in the in the um it, this is at the beginning of the movie so i'm not spoiling anything <laughs> <laughs> but, like you you have a, like a, a villains are uh, um a, a villains are us um like it's meeting. a villain like um a, like a, it's like a, 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 a meeting, actually. Yeah. and they're just like i'm a bad guy being bad isn't that i'm bad but i just play bad and it's just like oh my god that was just funny oh uh, so just to bring break down the movie it's basically like in the world of the video game. So after you will play like an arcade game like uh, Mario or you play like an arcade game like um, yeah. and we Pac-Man. Went to Dave, we went to Dave and Buster's recently too. No, but like <laughs> Pac-Man? But yeah, no, like you ha- yeah, they did have Pac-Man in it too. Yeah, yeah. They had Sonic. Um, They had um, Street Fighter. Yeah, but, but what is the positive message that was from that? For you to pick that as your favorite top pick for Disney. Oh, right. Because I, I never it. I thought that was like it. your favorite. Well, no, here's the thing, though. With Wreck-It Ralph, though, he was the bad guy in the game. And he kind of got a bum rap because everyone would have, like, fun and he doesn't get invited to a party because he's a bad guy. Mm-hmm. But you know what? He went to other video games to try to find himself kind of a thing. And you're just like, oh, this video game... Um, is basically Call of Duty. This video game was Candy Crush. Mm-hmm. This video game was Dance Dance Revolution. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the day, he's just like, you know what? I I kind of uh, don't mind being bad anymore. Like I um I am who I am. <laughs> I I can see where that is a good positive message for kids out there, and not just kids, but anyone who is a Disney fan can just be like, you know what? It's okay to be who you are um, as long as you know who you are deep inside and who you want to be. Because, like, it's not like Wreck-It Ralph be- was a villain in the whole show, you know? He was still the nice guy. Um, well, th- th- that's the And the thing, you wanted to be, like, the hero, if actually. That was, like, his journey throughout the whole movie. He's like, I want to be a hero. I want to be the one wearing a medal. He was a nice guy, and he spent time with... Um... One of the girls in a basically like Candy Crush racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing too. It's like if you have people who love you and care for you for who you are, which that girl in the movie did. Yeah. It's like none of that mattered what other people saw about him. You know what I mean? And it kind of is like a nice reminder for anyone out there that it's like as long as you have good people around you, people that you love and they love you for who you are. It's like that's all that that's all that is in life. It's really good to have that in life, actually. Right? Right. Okay. Well, my next top Disney pick is Princess and the Frog. Oh. Uh, really? I don't think I've seen that one. I don't. I don't yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have to watch that this weekend. All right. We'll put it on the to-do list. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've watched this movie about uh, quite some time. And this was like long ago. But 
I like it. And I like the message that it brings. Um, You know, it's always like it was showing how she, the girl Tiana was like, work, you know, all about working hard and tre- in achieving your dreams and never giving up. And it's like that was literally her whole thing throughout the movie. But I saw along the way with her um, running into the prince, it was just like, it's OK to get help along the way because teamwork makes the dream work that sounds interesting yeah so i really didn't want to give any spoilers but yeah princess and the frog is very nice and it just shows too like in order for her to achieve her green her dream i liked how it's just like it just takes a it takes a village sometimes you know so that's why i i picked princess and the frog for that i really like the message it brings and you know sometimes too um even another aspect of the movie showed how it's like he was he she needed to kiss a no sorry the guy needed to kiss a princess but like you know all of that was like a whole thing but at the end of the day she was the princess and it was just kind of like sometimes when you're looking for something it's like right in front of you so some of you guys might be like looking for love or looking for a good friendship or just looking for something that you think you need and sometimes what you need is just right in front of you so i really like that too that the movie kind of just like slips that message in there too that's very interesting and i think this actually is going to piggyback off of my number three pick Mm -hmm. this one is going to be a blast from the past ah man man, i really loved this movie back when i was a kid Mm -hmm. it was one of my like my all-time favorite disney movies okay once I tell you the name, though, you're going to be like, <laughs> What a oh, build yeah. up right now. I'm going to definitely be like, wow, that's the, the movie. Complete nostalgia <laughs> trip here. Okay. Emperor's New Groove. No. Emperor's New Groove. No. What? Okay. That, that movie is positive. In what way? Please explain. I really want to know. Simply put, just because you have everything doesn't mean you have everything. Sometimes what you least expect is more important than you know actually just having stuff mm-hmm. he, he was turned into a llama mm-hmm. and he was basically um stuck with the llama herder mm-hmm. they were trying to get back into the pa- castle so that the um they can you know find the antidote and turn him back into the human right and as he goes along he kind of realizes how lonely and how materialistic he's been mm-hmm. and he starts to really like like being around the the family, enjoy spending time with the llama herder, mm-hmm. all sorts of things like that. Mm-hmm. And you see Cusco kind of like start to change and start start being a little less selfish and a little more altruistic in his outlook. Mm-hmm. So he, he did stuff for the llama worker and he really appreciates that friendship. Mm-hmm. So going through the emotions in that movie, I'm just like, sometimes you're like, man, I- you, I can get this big thing. I can get this awesome car. Mm-hmm. I can get this, 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 this. Mm-hmm. Because he, he's the emperor, man. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's just like, I, I really enjoy just um, fixing pizza for everyone. Mm-hmm. Things like that. Like, sometimes, like, the little things that we do that is not really a big deal. Yeah, that we, like, do for others. It's It also fulfills us as well. And I can see, like, even when you see... In the film, there's a scene where it's like Pacha goes to his family and they help him out in, you know, with whole Yzma thing yeah. and Kronk like going after them. And it just showed like the wife was there. The kids did their thing. And like, you know, I think Cusco like looked at that like, wow, your family's awesome. Like they have your back. And it's like he, I guess, is realizing he doesn't even have that. Like, that's why it's so important to just have, you know, family and friends because like, it's just good to have people there for you, you know? Um, and I think, you know, that's what I got from the movie because you could see where towards the end, I don't know, spoiler, <laughs> that he ends up like getting his like water summer vacation home literally right beside Pacha. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like at the end of the day, he got that water slide thing, but he got it with people he loves. So it was really cute to see that. Okay, so my next one here is my last, you know, top pick for Disney theme here we got going on is Hercules. I really loved this movie when I was a kid and I I don't know why, but when I gospel truth, the gospel truth. Yeah, (laughs) I um, it was the music's amazing. I love the music. Don't get me started. But um, definitely when I was I think it was when I like 
was in the middle of like school or whatever. I don't know. I tend to watch Disney movies when I have a cold. I don't know why. It's very comforting for me. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. But I watch Disney movies when I have a cold. It's just a thing. So one time, it was like way, 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 way back. I was sick and I just put on the Hercules because I'm like, I haven't seen this in so long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Though. Yeah, yeah. And then I... um. I, I don't know. Don't judge me, but here we go. I I was like literally crying in the ending. <laughs> I was like tears were like I wasn't like boo who like couldn't hold tears. I just there was like a tear that slipped out. Okay, I will admit that because when throughout the movie, like you know the guy who's like a half what what was his name? He was a centaur. Yeah, but what was his name? Was it Phil? Maybe it was Phil. I think it's Phil. I I, I haven't seen we it in a while. It. Yeah, we have to Google <laughs> it. But he is he's Phil or something, and he like trained Hercules to become like super strong and like popular, so he can who he can please his father because he wants to go back to. No, no, he had to become a hero so that he can go back. So to he his can father. go back to Olympus. Yeah, yeah, that's how it went. Okay. No, I'm starting to get it kind of mixed up with the real story of Hercules in the back of my head. No, this is Disney, okay? It's Disney's Mm -hmm. Hercules. Yeah. So what I liked about that movie, just like so much was happening in it. Like Hercules doing his thing. Meg, who is the love interest in the film. Spoiler. If you haven't seen this movie, please watch it before I say what I have to say. And then come back. Yeah, spoiler. Where Meg betrays him. It was like Zeus and stuff, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, but Meg's betray. <laughs> Why are you asking in the middle? <laughs> no, no, it, it's called Hercules, right? So yeah. I was thinking it was like Jupiter? No. You know, like Hercules is... Hercules! You've seen this movie a billion times with me as kids. Right, 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 right. So, um, what happened is Meg betrays Hercules. Spoiler alert. Yes, she betrays Hercules. And... And um, because apparently she was working with with Hades the whole time. And, you know, he's so heartbroken and he's like, get away from me, whatever. And she just felt so bad because she fell in for him. And then what happens, too, is there was a scene where she, like, kind of saves his life. But she, her, she's, like, basically a goner. And, you know, he's, like, so traumatized. And he goes to Hades to be like, OK, I'm going to make a deal. And, like, I have to, like, get to her and, like, whatever. And it was kind of what the whole thing, that whole scene, and there's so much more to it. It just shows forgiveness in that film. And I think that's a lot of things us people sometimes lack is like we can't tend to hold on to the bad and, and not focus on the good that can come of things. So I, you know, that movie just showing forgiveness, also just like showing appreciation for somebody because there was um, with the whole like trainer guy. This is why I brought him up earlier. There was a whole thing with him like saying, I've been training people. I've been like, you know, working with the greats. They never made it. They end up dying or whatever. But also too, like, I would just love for a moment where they look and they have them in the stars and they say, hey, that's Phil's boy. That, that, That was like in the early beginning of the movie, right? And literally like towards the end, someone did it and he got emotional and like you see like, Hercules like show, giving his props to Phil because like he's the one who helped him and I just think too that movie just shows to appreciate those who are around you who encourage you who like help you to get to where you are in life because it it's just it's like all about working together having people in your life and in helping forming you into the person you're meant to be so I think like every once in a while it doesn't hurt to just you know say thank you and just you know give them a hug or just a appreciation of just of just being there for them as well thank you Brit. <laughs> oh get out of here oh my gosh <laughs> oh my goodness but that movie showed me a lot so even when that ending happened where phil got his like you know shout out on the stars and stuff like i felt so happy for him i'm like yes you did it too buddy like you know it wasn't all about hercules like it was about everybody involved in like getting him to where he needs to be, and that that to me is beautiful. Okay, that's really interesting though, because I'm I'm thinking back of Hercules, and I'm like, yeah, Brittany did love that movie back in the day, <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking about it now. I was like, no, you have a good point. <laughs> that's why I guess I watched it so many times. I'm just like, wow, this is so nice. My pick, mm-hmm, your last pick, Ohana. <laughs> <laughs> Ohana means family. 
and family means nobody, nobody gets, gets left, left behind, behind or, or forgotten. forgotten. I remember seeing that movie in the theaters, and it was really good. That yeah. movie changed lives. I feel it. It did. It changed a lot of people's lives. I, I don't know about that, but you know what? You know what I know. <laughs> what I know is that. So, like, when it comes to family, when it comes to family, sometimes you just gotta, like, roll with the punches and make the most of it. Because not, not everybody is gonna get along all the time whatsoever. Yeah, sometimes and we saw that with Lilo patches. and her sister. Right. Because they were going through a lot. Like, they had financial issues on top of that. Lilo was really young and kind of, like, awkward. She wasn't getting along with the mm-hmm. other dancing girls. Mm-hmm. But, the, like, they, they, be, they basically... Through their dysfunction, basically came, got over it and, well, I don't want to go as far as to say that, but they, they're family. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, we're family and family is um really important. To have in your life and right. just to, you And know. it's something that can be taken for granted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's really important to remember Ohana. <laughs> as corny as that may come off of. Yeah. I, whenever I think of Ohana, the first thing I think of is uh, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Because yeah. we never actually said what movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you guys don't know, it's Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. And, Stitch. <laughs> and if you haven't I, seen the movie, definitely just do it. Do it on a Friday. Do it on a Saturday. Just have like a throwback day in watching something that hasn't been released in 2020. And if it's a Disney movie, that's definitely one of them that I suggest you guys watch. And my brother here can vouch because it was his pick. <laughs> that, that is for sure. Like, it's one of my all-time favorite Disney movies. Yeah. I mean, that movie for me, what I got from it, too, like, I don't know. I didn't want to be cheesy and pick that one because I was thinking of that one, too. But I... I guess I'm just cheesy then because I picked so Lilo che- and I was Stitch. like, oh, Hannah means family. I'm like, that's going to be so, like, I, typical. I, like, and Brittany's going to give me grief, but I even liked the cartoon series that came after it. I, I watched it every morning before it, school. And I'm like, it, it wasn't the best, but I still like it. I watched it every morning before school. And it was cute because every time they went out to, like, get these cousins that were evil it was just like their family. They, they were evil though. They, they well, were just like destroying. Monsters. They were they were programmed to destroy. They had to capture them. So like the guy, what's his name? Pacha? No. Well, I, I know Pleakley and then Jumba. Jumba, Jumba had made to, all these monsters, yeah. and then they actually you gotta use it for good. Yeah. One of the monsters though helps to build the island of Hawaii. It was a lava monster. I know. And they use it. I know. So you see where it's like all these, these like, what's it called? Experiments or monsters or creatures, whatever they are. They were. Well, remember, Stitch is Experiment 626. So what happened to all of the monsters from number one to 626? I was just like, whoa. So yeah, the series was a nice show. And just like seeing like, you know, it shows the whole thing about a person can change. And, like, also, too, what I liked about Lilo and Stitch, not the series, but the movie, it was, like, yeah, yeah. family didn't to have to, <laughs> family <laughs> didn't just have to be, you know, people who are in your blood. It can literally be your friends, and it could just be people who you've been, in, has been in your life and makes such an impact, like, they become family to you. And I think that's what made the movie so beautiful to me, because you see where it was just Lilo and her sister. Right. It started out that way. And then you see who joins the family now after a couple of months and stuff. You see Jamba, Peakley, Stitch, and the well, boyfriend. That, that, not, at, not at first. No, Remember, no, no. That's um, not in the beginning. I'm saying in the end. Like, that's... You mm-hmm. see, like, the group photo of them, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's the family. Like, it, it was beautiful. One of the things that I, I'm, I'm really well, is fond of is the development of Stitch himself. Mm. Stitch was a, a, was a wild... He was um, and j- like alien, sick, alien monster. Yeah, that... he was built to destroy, and then he just saw. He mellowed out. Yeah, because guess what? There's that scene where he's like seeing everybody surf, and he just comes with the surfboard behind him, like I want to surf too. Like after he was giving them such a hard time, and it was just like at the end of the day, he just wanted a family. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just really, it's really cute. So you guys should definitely watch it. It definitely was nice. Yep, that's it. It is that's one that you can bring the whole family, get your popcorn, mm-hmm. and just sit down and watch and feel good. 
Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, bro, for coming on and doing this with me. You know, you're always welcome and you are always amazing at doing top picks. I'm always happy to be here. Now, if you guys like what you heard, click that like button and subscribe button for more. Thank you guys for listening on this podcast. Remember to follow us on all the social media platforms that are in the links down below. And you can listen to this podcast on Podbean, Spotify, YouTube, Apple, Anchor, you name it. We're there. You can click on the link down below in Linktree. We'll be posting on Thursdays bi-weekly. And remember to spread positivity. I hope you guys like this and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.